Hello, BookTube. Um, this is a shelf tour. It's uh, going to be bookshelf number 13. It's up in my little reading nook um, for when I get kicked out of the rest of the house, which usually means I'm trying to read and there's video games, TV shows, uh, uh, kids' friends over. It could be a lot of things. So this uh, is a little corner on the landing on the second floor where I have spread out some of the upstairs books. So all the books downstairs have, and all the bookcases we've done shelf tours with so far. Um, we just lost a member of the cast. The only, the shelves I didn't do, the only bookcase I didn't do was uh, cookbooks. I love cookbooks, and uh, especially if they have a cultural focus or uh, a historic element. But up here, we'll uh, start on this 13th case. We've got quite a few bookcases up here, so there's a way to go on these shelf tours for those of you who enjoy them. So I'm going to start right here. I start off with the, um, these are going to be Louis L'Amour books for the most part to begin this and this first one here is the collected short stories of louis l'amour the frontier stories volume one we'll see how this lighting works out um i've shifted the camera around about five times trying to figure it out so this is a bantam books uh, from 2003 see a list of the author's volumes there um, so some of the stories, The Gift of Cochise, The Man from Bitter Sands, Marshall of Canyon Gap, A Mule for Santa Fe, Let the Cards Decide. So we have that. Then we have um, the Collected Short Stories of Louis L'Amour, Volume 3. So you can tell there's some gaps in my collection. I grab them as I see them in these book sales. Um, this is also Bantam Books, and this is uh, 2005. So, Riding for the Brand, The Guns Talk Loud, uh, West of Dry Creek. And then, finally, in this series, we have The Collected Short Stories of Louis L'Amour, The Adventure Stories, Volume 4. And the Bantam books, obviously, and it's from 2006. So you have Beyond the Great Snow Mountains, May There Be a Road, Shanghai, Not Without Gestures, The Man Who Stole Shakespeare. Those are some of the great man's short stories. Then we have a series of these Hopalong Cassidy novels. Louis L'Amour, The Writers of High Rock. And this is uh, Bantam Books, 1993. And again, a hop along Cassidy, The Rustlers of West Fork. And that one, Bantam Books, 1991. Another, um, let's see which this one is. Let's do this one here. So we have Hopalong Cassidy novel, The Trail to Seven Pines. So we'll do the Hopalong all together here. And this one is Bantam Books, 1992. And then here we have a new collection of frontier stories, Louis L'Amour, The Outlaws and the Mesquite. which are frontier stories, and uh, it's Bantam Books, 1990. So you have Outlaws Mesquite, Love and the Cactus Kid, The Ghostmaker, The Drift, No Rest for the Wicked, That Pack Saddle Affair, Showdown on the Tumbling Tea, and The Six Shotgun. Let me get some of these up there so we have room to work here. And then a famous, more of a, Contemporary Western, you have Louis L'Amour, The Haunted Mesa, 
Beautiful cover. Oddly enough, not one of my, I love the uh, end papers. Not one of my favorites. A lot of people really like it though. Uh, it goes to show everybody has their own taste. Bantam Books, uh, 1987. And then, uh, well, it goes there. We have one of these um, Avenel compilation books. This is actually series two. So this is Louis L'Amour, five complete novels. Utah Blaine, Crossfire Trail, Heller with a Gun, Last Stand at Papago Wells, and then To Tame the Land. Avenel Books, New York, uh, copyright 1981 by Fawcett Books Group. So Crossfire Trail came out in 54, as did Utah Blaine. Heller with a Gun came out in 55. Last Stand at Papago Wells, 57. And To Tame a Land came out in 55. The paper on this has actually stood up pretty well. These older compilation type volumes don't always do real well. As far as paper quality, you'll see they yellow from the acid pretty quick. But in this case, it seems like they must have used better paper or... Whatever. Here's another Frontier Story compilation. This one has a 3 in 1 volume including The Strong Shall Live, Buckskin Run, and War Party. Again, obviously, uh, Louis L'Amour, Bantam Books, and um, 1980. And moving right along. I actually got a large print edition here. I don't usually get large print books. I don't know why. I'm getting older. I should probably get them. But uh, this is Louis L'Amour, Beyond the Great Snow Mountains. Uh, his new book, Classic Adventure Stories, collected for the first time. So it's Bantam Books, but it's Doubleday Direct large print edition. And it has By the Waters of San Tadeo. Meeting at Falmouth, Roundup in Texas, Sideshow Champion, Crash Landing, Under the Hanging Wall, Coast Patrol, The Gravel Pit, The Money Punch, Beyond the Great Snow Mountains, and a note on the dedication and then afterwards. And the dedication says, To John Veach and Louis L'Amour together again. So this is the size of the print. And uh, I found this in a book sale somewhere and just grabbed it. These are the Louis L'Amour Legacies Editions, these next ones by Bantam. So here's High Lonesome, so it's a little hardback. And this is, uh, let me see if we've got a date here. So the publishing history, uh, 2005. And then the next one here. Well, these don't say Legacy Edition, so I don't know what they are. The little hardbacks the same size, so they must be the same thing. Off the Mangrove Coast. Again, short stories. Fighters Should Be Hungry, It's Your Move, Off the Mangrove Coast, The Cross and the Candle, The Diamonds of Jeru, Secret of Silver Springs, The Unexpected Corpse, uh, The Rounds Don't Matter, Time of Terror, and then afterwards, this is from 2000. No, there's Louis L'Amour right there. I, I, it's hard to see even without trying to look at it on the camera, but it's an old picture. Then you have Louis L'Amour, West of Dodge. Uh, Frontier Stories by Louis L'Amour, Bantam Books. And that would have 1996. So you have an introduction, Beyond the Chaparral, A Husband for Janie, West of Dodge. The Passing of Rope Nose, To Make a Stand, The Man from Bitter Sands, Let the Cards Decide, Riches Beyond Dream, West of Dry Creek, Marshall of Canyon Gap, Home as a Hunter, Rain on the Half Moon, Stage to Willow Spring, To Hang Me High, and then afterwards. And then, last Louis L'Amour on this shelf, but the next shelf is all Louis L'Amour. So we'll finish up with this shelf here in a bit, but... This is Louis L'Amour, The Lost Treasures, Volume 1, with Bo L'Amour. Um, this is an advanced reading copy that was sent to me by 
Steve Donahue, and I'm just started uh, on the uh, Jeremy Lacard. It's a uh, it's not really it's, it's like a novella, I guess you would say is what it is. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, I did order the finished copy, so Steve, you did your job. I did order it for. Uh, for my library and uh, we have a lot of folks who really love love Louis L'Amour so then next totally unrelated because this this is near my reading chair so we end up with a lot of stuff here this is the Golden Hind revised edition and I've been dipping in and out of this it's quite a volume I found not too long ago uh, it's W.W. Norton and Company, and it's uh, selected and edited by Roy Lampson and Hallett Smith. It's an anthology of Elizabethan prose and poetry. So, um, I'm reading, uh, let's see here. There was a thing with John Skelton, and then uh, I'm reading Sir Thomas More right now on the death of the princes let me show you how this is laid out this is quite a i guess it was probably used in in uh, college they have uh, spencer's fairy queen um, sir walter Raleigh. there's all sorts of stuff in here so this is a fun volume like i say i'm just sort of i would imagine it's probably well known i didn't know about it i'm just sort of working my way through it then here I have the Snark Handbook, the Sex Edition, Innuendo, Irony, and Ill-Advised Insults on Intimacy by Laura Storfman. Just one of those comedy books. I'm not, I'm not a big comedy book guy. I don't know why I like comedy as much as anybody else, but it doesn't quite work for me in print as much. Then one, uh, this is uh, David Weber's War of Honor. New Honor Harrington novel. I'm a big fan of these. I started this a couple months ago. Oh, look at this old book, Mark. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> um, I'm on chapter six. I have no idea why I stopped reading it. I actually forgot about it. I'll have to pick it back up. Then next, I have a couple of these. This is my commonplace book where I put down like lists of things I've been reading and notes and ideas. And I've had this one going since 1995. So it's got years and years and years of lists. It's going to be done this year because I also now, since I've started on BookTube, will write down like tag questions. So it's filled up fast. And then this one's a day-to-day -day diary that I've had going since... Uh, what 2009 and it, this one's finishing up this year too so i'll actually have to get new ones i don't write in them a lot i, I keep lists mostly occasionally i'll put down an idea or something like that then i have here what's this an old kindle i'm not a big fan of them this here um like i said this is an odd shelf because it's just what's near me the arts and crafts in the Arts and Crafts style uh, by Barbara Mayer. I used to live in a beautiful, beautiful Arts and Crafts home years and years ago. And um, really, really loved it. And uh, so I'm, I, I like that sort of thing. And then here's the old standard. Benet's Reader's Encyclopedia. I still use it a lot. This is the fourth edition. Completely revised and updated edition of the classic Encyc uh, Encyclopedia of World Literature. So if you look here. Alcibiades. Uh, uh, Louisa May Alcott. Albigensian Crusade. Um, Bella Bartok. Let's see. Catalog Verse. Catastasis, Catcher in the Rye, Jefferson Davis, Tom Gunn, Gunplotter Plot, Joseph and His Brothers. So, just a, 
nice little encyclopedia for readers. And then on top, up here, I guess I can grab it and show it. I've already showed it before. Let me move the uh, Deep Space Nine station there. And then in my recent birthday gift, so I'm already starting reading a little bit of the life of Gene Rodenberry. This is, these are the voyages, season one, two, and three by uh, Mark Cushman that I got for my birthday. So those have been getting some love lately. So that's the 13th bookcase, um, the first shelf and a little bit off the top of the shelf. So thank you, BookTube.